Hello everybody over on YouTube, this is Jet uh, on our Shield of the North playthrough where if you remember from last time, I'm about to fight a horrible battle with the assistance of Tom, obviously, say hi Tom. Hi everyone. Who is playing as Kislev, though obviously not in this battle, which is going to be horrible. We are obviously fighting this, we're not autoing it. And they've like, how am I not getting my garrison assisting? On the bright side, at least it seems to be pretty much just Marauders. Yeah, because annoyingly, I, my garrison has Slayers in it. Yeah, but doesn't um, Wolfric give all sorts of bonuses to Marauders? Uh, I'm not actually sure. I thought it was all Berserkers and stuff he gives bonuses to. Possibly. I mean, Marauders are still a pain in the ass. Yeah, but... It's a nice open field. I mean, the, do you want to know what I think is going to be really nasty about this? I think they're hitting us from both sides. Oh, they are. I would say right, uh, we are going to try and cheese Throg off the field. I am okay with this. I'm going to give you all the archers if that's okay. Yeah, I'm more than happy to have the archers. The archers and the cavalry. Uh, you sure you don't want to hold them to cavalry? I know you like your charges. I do, but it's also hard to manage them when I'm also doing the, um... Right. The archers, I'm gonna be pretty basic. So no, I'm giving them, them I'm giving you the cavalry as well, because it's probably easier for you to manage them. Uh, yeah. What I'm planning on doing with the archers is once Throg has arrived... Focus fire Throg. Focus fire frog, and then I did try and move them more into flanking so the arrows are coming from the sides because they've got quite a lot of shielded units. You'll then move them out to the sides already, so split them into two things off to the sides a bit. Already. Alright, hang on. Though we don't know exactly where they'll come in. This is yeah, a bit of a naughty way of doing it, but. Anyway, Which you ready? Is quite, uh, as ready as I can be, yes. <laughs> I think I see Throg. No, that's a cavalry unit. I'm oh, moving straight forward. You ready to unpause? Oh, this is Wolfric. Oh, okay, and then we're going to cheese Wolfric off. Yeah, I'm ready to unpause. Focus fire Wolfric. Yeah. Hang on. Frostbite. Something just hit. Yeah, the boats. Boats? Uh, he has a boat oh, spell. Yeah. Oh, I'm trying to pin them in. If you can start, um, yeah, get the cavalry right round the back and into them. That's what I'm thinking. The danger here is we need to deal with these guys before the others get them. They've got Norsk and Wolfhounds coming round the back. Yeah, I'm a bit tempted to use the shock cavalry to deal with the Wolfhounds. If you want to. Right, well, I'm just going to get these guys charging in to the rear of these orders. Uh, I'm not sure we're winning this. Well, Wolfric is dead. Yep. And their army is almost upon us. Yeah, they came so smoking fast, actually. Right, I'm pulling a few units out. I think I need to keep the art Move I was going to say the artillery. The, uh... Yeah. I'm pulling a few units of dwarves out, basically, to try and give you some cover. Uh, watch your left flank, watch your left flank. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. you that's the... They're ah, breaking through. We've, 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 we're, we're dead. We've got, we've lost this, we unfortunately. The thing is, it still says the battle thing is parity. So... Yeah. I know, it's... They're all over your archers now. Yeah, but the thing is, though... 
the archers are actually slower than uh, so it's best leaving them in their square formation to oh yeah but they're right. hitting your archers on the other side as well now yeah the thing is it says uh, no, only one unit of archers it's is losing the speed the frog actually got to us I wasn't expecting them to get on us that quickly otherwise I wouldn't have done this che tried to cheese them Right, I'm going to send the cap... <sighs> Try and deal... It's wanting to optimize the shock cavalry as much as possible. Whilst uh, making sure they don't get trapped. Um, get all your range focusing Froggy, because breaking him will give them a... a, a, a well, it's not going to help. Yeah, uh, where is Froggy even? In the middle of all your archers on the right side. Uh, yeah. Not much we could do here other than valiantly fight. Hey, at least I'm going to get my first grudge. <laughs> that's true, that's true. The thing is, the Mon Monfangs are doing a fair bit, I think. Oh, they're good. They are solid. Cromson is kicking butt. He's not even taking damage yet. Fast. Right, charging to the back of these marauders. Craven, a unit of the archers is fleeing. Oh, I'm send, I'm sending support. Oh, frog is about to break. Yeah, I've had all the archers focusing on him. I'm sending support to the archers now. I've, I've cleared up. Cromson is. Leaning up, to be fair. Ready to strike. Well, luckily I've had strike about five out. units constantly chasing Moving around out. the uh, yeah. cavalry. And I really out. need to get them out there. Come on, guys. Run away. Do as ogres do best. Flee. <laughs> Flee, you fools. <laughs> um, pull your archers back through my, you, my line I've put in. Uh, hang on. I'm trying to save the cavalry first. Saving uh, the archers is also which good. Which archers? Hang on, uh, the ones, the ones which were... Yeah, pause. These archers, uh, pull them out. And these archers, pull back. Pull all your archers back to here. I'm going to try and give them cover. Uh, these archers, unfortunately, seem to... Yeah, you, you, you took too long. Hey, I didn't know which ones you were saying. Uh, and the other side as well. Yeah, pull them all back. I'm sending I'm sending this unit up. Uh, this unit here I'm sending up to try and intercept. Because actually this area we're cleaning up. So I'm ready to unpause. Uh, nope. Hang on, I'm just getting... Trying to get... I'm going to have to leave one unit of the quarrelers behind just yeah, to Yeah, just off. to cover the retreat. That's fine. Yeah. Right. Right, yep. I mean... Good. We are doing. We've done a lot of damage oh, to them. Routed, uh, come back. For the ancestors. What? He's back in oh, yeah. action. Oh, and he just used a spit on the Ready cavalry. Start. You've got Ready a unit start. of dwarf warriors not doing anything. Where? Recovered. Um, they are. For the not in a useful position at all. Right, the back is cleared. The back line is cleared. I'm moving Crummy forward. Okay, there's one unit of Marauders. I'll just have a unit of Mark's Archers deal with him. Oh, my Grombas are do us have have icked us. My my uh, Huskals have basically held a quarter of their army all on their own as well. Nice. Dwarf warriors. Um, ranged. Get your ranged back on, Froggy. If you can yep. kill him, it will give us a big boost. On it. And. Your cavalry are doing a fantastic job, although they're starting to struggle a bit. 
Yeah, hardly surprising. Everything's starting to struggle a bit here. Uh, doggy's routed again. Try and kill him. Try and stay on him until he's dead. I'll get the, get the cavalry on him. Yeah, the Grumbackers are absolutely mullering these guys. Oh yeah, I'll just keep the cavalry on him and have the I'd archers. Focus range here, mate. Uh, where? Big red circles. Oh, okay. It's tricky to know where, to be fair. Uh, Drog is dead. Oh, a lot of their army, I could tell, a lot of their army just, just noped. Come on! It's gonna be close. Uh, this unit, this unit, this unit, get on them. I'm trying to get my lord onto him as well, but get on them to break yep, them before you guys the flee. Oh my god, my Huskarls basically... Oh my god. How they did that, I don't know. Right, I'll pick up your infantry in the middle. A lot of them are starting to come back in, so just be aware of that. Yeah. I'm going to go deal with the... I'm going to go help your host uh, dwarf warriors on by themselves. It's, it's over. It's over. It's over. Charge. Oh, my God. <laughs> and do you want to know what's even better? All yeah. the dwarven aquarellas are practically out of ammunition. Yeah. The, that means you've had a very good battle. You know how you said you didn't like the Grombakras? Yeah, but the thing is, they were pretty much all against just uh, oh, yeah. shielded. Look at the Huskarls kills. Oh, but well, the Grom <laughs> did fantastically. Oh yeah, the Huskarls as well though. Wow. Oh my god, we thought we were losing that as well. I did, yeah, I didn't think we were going to bring that back. But those Huskarls basically held an entire flank on yeah, their the own. Is, if you actually look at the damage that the Mornfang cavalry did. Oh yeah, they'll have been far. They were, yeah. things like that, they're very useful for just the ability to smash into things. I can't actually see the damage at the moment. I think you're right, the Huskarls did the most damage. 31,000 damage. Yeah. But the Huskarls basically, I mean, they are an endgame unit, and they literally held an entire flank by themselves. They What's had... even better, though, was we did actually kill Wolfthrick and Thrag. <laughs> oh, let's take the buffs. Unfortunately... I assume you're going to go clear up the armies rather than... <laughs> no, I'm too damaged. Uh, not even that one behind you. The bloody hand. Uh, it's, it's, it's tricky because I'll... Merge some of your Dwarf Warrior units, maybe? I can't re-recruit them here. The of the I... uh. Let us begin. I know what you mean, especially no. as they've got another force already building. My you want me to go and try and raise Bear Blades? On... We are fighting this. Because if I don't fight it, we will lose units. Basically, and if we fight it, we'll probably... <laughs> no, we're not using okay. the we're using the quarrelers and the cavalry and, and the garrison. <laughs> oh yeah, and the garrison forces. I don't give a shit about the garrison forces. <laughs> Poor garrison. You know, there they, they are defending your homeland. They didn't get involved in the last fight. That's no excuse. So we're going to sit back to start with to wait for the garrison to come in. Why don't you just pepper them with range? That that was my plan. I think focus on their lord. Uh, why are we as far back as... Oh, you're waiting as far back as possible. Yeah, so the, the garrison can get in. I'm giving yeah. you the archers to start with and I will, bring ev I will take everything which comes in. Yep, that's fine. And... I'll have them positioned there, and then you 
hopefully the garrison should be able to get yeah in and front. most of my dwarf warriors are basically going to leave i wish you had the option it's something they've re would be re so cool for them to implement is to just have basically have units which you didn't have to have on the field so you could as as you went into a battle you should be able to choose oh, to not have certain units yeah I know what you mean. Actually enter the field. Here we go. And a fresh army coming in. Oh, you got some more quarrelers. Yeah, which I'm moving in front of your quarrelers, by the way. I'm actually yeah. going to give them to you as well, but... Okay. I would say you should just charge your lord in and just have the quarrelers kill them. Oh, that's pretty much the plan. <laughs> I'm just dub triple timing it while everything gets into position. Yeah. There's the other quarrelers. To be this is where actually having injured their lords would probably work better, better for us. Yeah, because it's easier to route. Oh, it, it ignored what I told it to do. Never mind. Uh, do you want me to focus fire on the Lord or just... No. Let them do what they do best. I'll phrase it. Cromson's going to murder the Lord. That's what I like to hear. Oops, I accidentally know, used his healing straight away. I am very surprised that uh, the Norse Dwarves don't get a special Quarreler unit. Uh, they get Spike Gunners. Uh, Which are crap, admittedly. Yeah. Actually, do these guys get a bit more magic resistance than the normal Dwarves? I, I, they get corruption resistance and stuff like that. Oh, the cavalry just absolutely mullered the, one of their units. Well, they do feel a bit clunky, these cavalry. As in, not the fastest, even though they do have but a lot. I mean, they're kind of meant to be. They're also low, very low unit count unit. Yeah. And low unit count cavalry is always a bit like that. Anything low unit counts always a bit, yeah, bit trickier to use. We lost eleven good dwarves today. <laughs> Probably to self. <laughs> Probably to quarrelers in the back of the yeah. head. <laughs> no, it's. Uh... Because I was thinking, you don't get access to Bugman's Rangers, do you, as uh, No, I think, I think I can. On Not Bugman's. The, the other thing I think that you should potentially get as the Norse Dwarves, actually, is the ability to replenish off Norsegun stacks you kill. Well, especially if you had some Norsegun mercenaries in your army. Yes. Yeah, I can see that. Snow and blood. Uh, success. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, that's something we've gained. Um, so, yeah. Um, obviously, extra ambush chance. Sorry, I just realised. I now have... A deep cleaner. Extra hit points. The killing frot. The unclean. Useful. Oh, I've got ruins end. So, I get buff sighting them. Troll hunter. F defeating throg. So, 15% bonus versus large. Plus 3% weapon strength. And blood feuder, feuder uh, for defeating Wolfric, extra charge bonus and bed benefits. So basically, I get bonuses versus large and infantry now as Cromson. <laughs> and he already does a fairly decent amount of damage. Actually, that's one thing I find interesting about the dwarves. None of their units have a bonus versus large. Apart from the gyrocopter brimstone. I did I not think. get. I don't think that the um, grudge mechanic is working for him. Oh, maybe you don't have a book of grudges. But you didn't lose the battle. 
<laughs> However, I found a way. Oh. Oh. No, I have Oathguard now. There yeah, we go. But... I recycled an item. Excuse ah. me. Rune of Spite. Rune of Spite. Where are you hiding, Mr. Spitey Spite? It's 50 Oath Gold, I believe, at the bottom. Character runes. Rune of Spite is mine. And then all you need to do is pick the one which gives plus 50 armor <laughs> as well. Um, defense is better. Yeah, but... Plus 50 armor it's making your a hell of a lot, Lord's yeah. armor 170. And I'm going to get three runes of parrying. And that's all of my oath gold. There we go. My axe thirsts for it, I, I lost an item which gave fear and stuff. But I think I've got better. Hmm. All right, now the question is... Master Rune of Spite, extra armor, and extra defense. That's all you need. Vengeful Rune Lord. All, all you need now are some grudge throwers in your army. Yeah, and the explodey rune for them. I'm giving all of my uh, lords parrying, by the way, the, the uh, other runes Lord of parrying. Of Clan Morgrim. Because I'm not insane. Even though it's only seven plus seven defense, it's actually it's quite effective. It makes a difference. Yeah. Defense is always better than armor, but it depends how much you've got. And the Varun of Spite on him just makes him that much tougher. Oh, terrifying. Actually, you're. So I just want to compare melee defense. So you. Character has 65 melee defense, Boris has 60. <laughs> and 59 and... attack. He's, he's quite yeah. quite decent. And I've not actually been buffing him per him himself yet. See, I know they've changed the auto-generating um, oath gold things. Because you used to get ones which gave you like three or four a turn. You still but... do. No, they're all. There's buildings which can give it to you, I think, now. Oh, yeah, no, there are. Yeah, sorry, yes, there are buildings which can do it. Armed and ready. Um. The issue with Gomba Grombara, however I say them, is they're expensive. Yeah, but, I mean, you get what you pay for. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so it's sort of like. Oh, uh, that battle, though, was. I mean, that battle now with the runes, Master Rune of Spite as well. Oh, yes. Um, all right. I mean, it just makes Dwarf Lords epic, especially early game, because you just charge them forwards and have the enemy surround them and up your defense to mass, massive amounts and everything dies. I mean, because right. Cromson was literally, he took no damage, barely took any damage no, in that battle, reckoning. and he was literally wading into the middle of them all. Do you want me to try and... What? Wolf... Oh, it's not... Go I to thought Wolfric... Go, go back and look at the Lord who replaced Wolfric. What's his name? I will do in a second once I've... I'll give you a hint. Oh, it's also I'm Wolfric. I'm going to sail to this wreck. It's your call if you want to raise the Bay of Blades. Um... Oh, yes. Autoing it. I mean, I want to try and push Sarl Encampment very quickly now, but it's still... I'm. The issue is I'm so weakened now. For the wisdom of the uh, I'll move up my army to Bear Blades. Sigma compels us. They have much better it replenishment than me at the moment for some strange reason. And I'm just trying to figure out... I think I'm going to risk going into March. Onwards! Because if they don't move back, I should be able to sack yeah. Bear Blades next turn. Which I believe should be a massive help to you. Well, we'll see. We'll see. It is, it isn't. Because sacking means I've just got to rebuild it later. But yeah, I'm going to um... be marching on the Tower of Kark soon. What I will need is you to. I will need to utilize your army to help defend my uh, smaller stack moving in. Um, 
Uh, it's it's because I want to upgrade my army, basically. Yeah, no, I know. I'm still just using all my sort of tier one stuff. Begin. Um. Yes. Yeah, I, I, I'm gonna try and uh, sack. And I take it. This is the question. <laughs> You've got too much, too many dwarven units. Uh, not. Yeah, I need at least Let another turn of replenishment, this. I think. Going for the growth building. What? Master of Runecraft. Uh, Rurik Redmain is uh, moving towards Kark. I'm still building him up a bit on the way. Oh, yeah, the tower. How are you going to rename the tower of Kark? The Tower of Redmain, as he's the person who's going to resettle it. That's perfectly fair. You will drink with uh, then we what, what are you asking for? Stands. I'm you giving you money. Terms, oh. Yes. Thank you. As you're complaining. About what? Oh, me using my uh, yeah. <laughs> tier one army to uh um go for great awards which is extra magic resistance and uh extra untainted i think that's needed hells yeah my anger burns well i'm just i've been okay so one thing which i quite like about uh Kislev, is there seem to be a lot of things which improve happiness. Yes. As long as you're above a yeah. certain... Yeah, it's about keeping that up, and it can yeah. be difficult when you're struggling, but once you're rolling, it's easy. All right, here goes the attack on Beer Blades. Decisive victory, low... Yeah, I mean... Auto ink. And let's see whether I sack or raise. I, so it doesn't make much difference to me. I think I might raise it. Okay. It, it. probably, well, I can sack it instead if you prefer. Yeah, no, sack it because then I can take it easy. I don't have to pay to resettle it that way. Okay. If you fall back towards Kark, I'm going to go settle Kark and then we can march towards Bear Blaze together. And then uh, if we can take Sarl Encampment... I'm, once I've taken Sal Encampment, I'm in a much, much stronger position. Uh, do you want me to keep sacking Bear Blades or leave it now? Leave it now. Okay, so where do you want me to move to? Uh, towards the Tower of Kark. To battle. Uh, Alright. I have some... Because I'm not going to have the biggest army there. It's going to be, a, you know, it's going to be a, not, a a reasonable sized army, but it's not going to be big. It's not going to be a full stack. Yeah. Uh, right. So I just buildings to manage. Extra income, extra growth. And then I... Oh, do you want me to send a hero to try and find elves? Yes, that would be useful, because then we can trade with them, which would make us much more money. All right. I am sending a hero out on an adventure. <laughs> and that will be turned for me. Yeah, because I think the only heroes I'm probably going to have in my armies are going to be... The bear priests, because they can unlock a bear mount. Yes. Because, you know, what's better than a priest? A priest on a bear. They I are. Mean, they are awesome. Yeah. And what the hag witches, because they seem to actually, because they have a special ability which turns them into a ghost, which makes them really quite powerful because of the seventy-five percent physical resistance. Yes. 
Ooh, yep, yeah, they've pushed down. That's what I was expecting. So they've actually, yeah. um, I think they've just left Sal encampment. Nope. Ah, oh, <laughs> still got a second force there. That's actually the uh, lord of that faction there as well. Vengeful rune lord. Also right, I am moving this horse to horse cark. Anyway, uh, that's where we're going to be stopping recording for this YouTube video. Don't worry if you're watching on Twitch. We're still keeping going here, guys. But for those who are watching when this does drop on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please obviously like and subscribe and pop a comment down below. Being annoyed at Tom for sacking and destroying places I want to <laughs> capture. Always does it. Every playthrough. I'm not salty at all. Anyway, as always, guys, an extra special thank you as well to my channel members, patrons, and uh, subs here on Twitch. To Monster Bound, Unnamed, Space Ace 475, Coding Monster, Jared Horde, and an extra special thank you to William Farmer. Tell me off in the comments to update this uh, screen as well.